It's called the swipe test. So right now I'm pushing the fluid away and watch what happens when I push it back. You see that? Hey guys, in 1998, I injured my knee playing basketball. I went to one of the top orthopedic surgeons in Sydney that has done thousands of knee surgeries. I ended up having surgery and when he went in to actually look at the knee, he found that my meniscus was fine. But in fact, what was wrong was the cartilage under the meniscus. The actual chondral cartilage layer tore and it flipped over on itself. And there wasn't really anything they could do at the time except cut out that layer of cartilage. So basically, I have a missing layer of cartilage in my left knee. I remember a week later, I went back to his clinic and he gave me the bad news. He said, basically, I should not do too much running and try to preserve that cartilage. And he also hinted that I really shouldn't play basketball anymore. Needless to say, I ignored his advice and I kept going. I'm pretty active, so I play lots of sports, basketball, tennis, still at a competitive level. And my knee doesn't really give me much problems. However, occasionally there may be times where you do too much activity and too much sports, and you will feel a little bit of aches and pain in your knee. And I have recently done exactly just that, and I'm going to show you what I did. So this is my left knee that I've just injured. I've been playing a lot of tennis recently. I feel sharp pain, kind of like under the kneecap in this area. It is actually swollen, I'll show you. So. It's called the swipe test. So right now I'm pushing the fluid away and watch what happens when I push it back. You see that? Just keep your eye on this spot. I'm going to push the fluid away and here it comes. Okay, so this is a swipe test. It's a very accurate test for checking whether you have swelling in your knee. So I actually went for an MRI scan to prove a point. It found I have significant damage in my knee, but here I am fully recovered and back to playing sports. So how did I do it? First, I put an ice pack every day to help with the swelling. Then I applied tape to support the knee every day if I had to walk a lot. I continued to train my quadriceps muscle, but in ways that did not aggravate my injury. Exercises like these are considered very safe that most people can do. And as you can see now, the swelling is a lot better. Okay, there you have it. That's my story of how I recovered from my injury. And please like and follow if you enjoyed this video.